If you're using the Galaxy S23 and are on the One UI 7 Beta 2, there's a new issue that's been making the rounds, specifically when using Gemini's live feature. So let's break down what's going on and what you need to know. On Wednesday, Samsung released the second beta version of One UI 7.0 for the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra, packed with new features and improvements, including the ability to summon Google Gemini using the power slash side button. It's a handy feature, but unfortunately, it also introduced a pretty annoying bug. The problem happens when you're using Gemini Live on your phone. If you go from Gemini Live to the home screen, One UI Home crashes. Yup, that's right. One UI Home stops responding, and you get a message saying the system UI has stopped responding. You then have the option to force close it. Once you do that, the launcher reloads and everything goes back to normal. But it's definitely frustrating if it happens frequently. Stefabulous on X, formerly Twitter, posted a video showing this issue in action. They demonstrated that when switching to the home screen after using Gemini Live, the stock launcher crashes and the system stops responding. A lot of other users have chimed in, saying they're facing the same issue, and we even replicated the problem on our own Galaxy S23. Here's what happened when we tried it. We closed all apps, launched Gemini, went into live mode, and then hit the home button. Initially, everything seemed fine. But when we clicked on the calculator app on the home screen, the navigation buttons went gray, and tapping them gave us the system UI isn't responding message. The only fix was to force close the launcher. Now it's important to note that this issue doesn't happen when you're using Gemini without live mode. So if you're just using the regular Gemini features, you should be fine. We're hoping that Samsung is aware of this issue and is working on a fix, especially since it seems to be impacting quite a few users. If you're on One UI 7 Beta 2, you might want to keep an eye out for any updates to fix this bug. That's all for today. Are you experiencing this issue with Gemini Live on your Galaxy S23? Let us know in the comments below. Today, we're going to compare Galaxy AI and Awesome Intelligence to AI-powered systems found in Samsung's devices. So, what's the difference and which one offers the best AI experience? Let's break it down. Galaxy AI versus Awesome Intelligence. Both Galaxy AI and Awesome Intelligence are umbrella terms that cover a range of AI-driven features, but there's a key difference in terms of complexity and capabilities. Galaxy AI is Samsung's top-tier AI suite, designed for flagship devices like the Galaxy S25. This suite includes advanced tools, such as generative AI, real-time translation, powerful photo editing, and more. It's a comprehensive, premium AI experience for users who need a wide variety of tools for everyday tasks and creative applications. On the other hand, awesome intelligence is found on mid-range devices like the Galaxy A36 and A56. While it also offers AI-powered features, these are simpler and don't include generative AI. Instead, Awesome Intelligence focuses on basic enhancements like photo editing, video trimming, and smart suggestions. Galaxy AI features on the Galaxy S25. The Galaxy S25 showcases the full potential of Galaxy AI, including Call Assist, AI-based real-time translation during voice calls, Writing Assist, AI tools to help you compose, organize, and improve messages. Interpreter, live voice or text translation for conversations. Note Assist, tools for formatting, summarizing, spell checking, translating, and transcribing audio recordings. Transcript Assist, converts voice and call recordings into text. Browsing Assist, summarizes web pages and can even read them aloud. Photo Assist, advanced photo editing like object removal and portrait creation. Drawing Assist, turns sketches and instructions into AI-generated drawings. Audio Eraser, removes unwanted sounds from videos. Photo Ambient Wallpaper, AI-powered wallpaper that adjusts to the time of day and weather. Now Brief, personalized daily briefings. Health Assist, gives personalized insights based on your Samsung health data. Awesome Intelligence on the Galaxy A36 and A56. Now let's look at awesome intelligence on the Galaxy A36 and A56. These devices feature more basic AI tools, including Object Eraser, removes unwanted objects or people from photos. Best Face, fixes awkward facial expressions or closed eyes in photos. Edit Suggestions, smart suggestions to improve your photos. Custom Filters, create your own photo filters. Auto Trim, trims videos to highlight the best moments. 
I select, quickly selects items on the screen and gives suggestions. Read aloud, reads text aloud from pages. Though there's some overlap, like AI Select, which appears on both the S25 and A36, the big difference is in the power and scope of the AI tools. The Galaxy S25 has the most advanced AI features, while Awesome Intelligence provides simpler, user-friendly enhancements. Which device offers the best AI experience? If you're after the most advanced AI capabilities, the Galaxy S25 is the way to go. It's packed with generative AI tools and a wide array of features for high-end tasks. But if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option with some clever AI-driven tools, the Galaxy A36 and A56 still deliver a solid experience, just without the generative AI features you'd find on the flagship models. While the Galaxy A56 isn't available in the USA yet, the Galaxy A36 and Galaxy S25 are. The Galaxy S25 offers the most powerful Galaxy AI experience, while the Galaxy A36 includes Gemini, Circle to Search, and all the awesome intelligence features, except for Read Aloud. So what do you think? Are you more interested in the cutting-edge AI of the Galaxy S25, or the more affordable yet smart AI tools of the A36 and A56? Let me know in the comments below.